Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Kathleen here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some tips and tricks to stop your makeup from creasing in like fine lines, especially around the label folds here, uh, around the nose area, and around the mouth. Okay, so let's start first with uh, how I prep my skin. I just finished washing my face and putting on my moisturizer and my skincare, my morning skincare, and my sun black. So now I'm ready to do makeup, and one of the problems that I have is my makeup likes to settle in these areas here and around my mouth. And sometimes, like in the middle of the day, if I haven't done the proper prepping technique, I can look in the mirror and I can see it like sitting here. And this is what I do to prevent that. And like I said, I just did my skincare, so I have all of that on. It, I let it sit on my skin for a little bit because you don't want to put too many products on. And one of the things that you do want to do is put a little bit of product layered on so it kind of just lays nicely into your skin and has time to, you know, absorb into your skin. So I started off with the, uh, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, right? This, um, this will go in, this has hyaluronic acid in it, so it also can be very plumping to the skin, so it's gonna add some hydration. So my skin is not dry and dehydrated looking, which was uh, like, <clears throat> which is like one of the biggest factors of having your uh, products lay into fine lines and wrinkles. Next, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to take this MAC paint pot. This is an eye base, okay? This is a non-creasing eye base. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little bit of it, right? This is what it looks like, so it's the same color as my skin. I'm gonna go in there with a Q-tip, take a little bit out. You, don't, you do not need a lot of this product. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in in those areas. I'm gonna go in here, all right? You can't even see it, right? And I'm just gonna do it very lightly, and then I'm gonna press it into the skin. Now, I use a retinol product on my skin. Actually, it's tretinoin, and I do get a lot of dryness, and that kind of collects in these areas. I'm going to go in, I'm going to do the other side, go around here, and just kind of gently dab that into my skin. Now here is another area where I get, you know, the foundation likes to settle, and I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to look down here in my mirror, and I'm going to go in and just kind of prep that in there. Go over here. Do the same thing, and then I'm just gonna go around, then I'm just gonna go around my lip lines. If you've never used a MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly, I talk about this all the time, it's, I, I can't live without this particular product. So if you're looking for a good eye base, and you have creasing on your eyelids too, this is a great product. You can also use it on areas like your nose, like so if you foundation and you you're, you have a cold and you're like constantly rubbing your nose, it's also a good, it's preventive for that, for rubbing off your foundation. All around there, I've just let that stay. And that's really all you have to do. I mean, I'm taking my time doing it, but it shouldn't take you that long to do. Next, I'm gonna take a finely milled setting powder. I'm gonna use this one by Dermablend. And when I say finely milled, I mean really finely milled. Right, and I'm gonna take a blending brush. I'm gonna take this blending brush here by um, Wayne Goss. I'm gonna go in there, I'm going to tap in there, and then I'm going to tap off any of my excess, right? I don't want hardly any on there. And then I'm gonna go, and I'm just gonna set that in there. Okay, I'm gonna go around there like that. Okay, so now it's primed and it's ready. Oh, actually, no, there's one more step. I have to take, I'm going to take this MAC Prep and Prime, but you can use any type of setting spray that you might have. I'm going to go, I'm going to gently spray the end of the brush, and then I'm going to go in there and I'm going to set that, right? I'm going to tap that in there. You don't want anything too heavy on there. Just going to simply go around and tap that into the skin. And that's it. That's pretty much it, which all you need to do in order to you know, get that skin ready so it does not crease and your foundation, you know, lays in all those fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, next, I'm gonna go on and what I would do is I would put my foundation on, right? I would just go around 
<clears throat> I'm gonna use this Hydra Boost by Neutrogena. I would take that, I would take my foundation brush and just really press that into the skin. I'm not gonna be swiping it away, I just really wanna press it in there. And then next, I, when I'm done completely doing all of my foundation and I have that pressed in there, I would take a setting spray. I would probably use a mattifying setting spray. Only, you know, I would use whatever Hydra or whatever moisture, I would use whatever foundation works best for your skin type. But for me, I'm always looking for hydration on my skin. But when it comes to a setting spray, I have no problem using like a mattifying setting spray. And I would go in with this one size by Patrick Starr and I would go in and spray my entire face just to set that so it doesn't end up settling into my fine line wrinkles. So anyway, if you gained any value from this video, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video.